What's up, y'all? I'm back, and this is going to be part of a another series I'm doing with the uh, making feminized pollen and seeds. But in order to make feminized pollen and seeds, first you have to have a, well, to make it the right way, to make them herm because you're affecting the chemicals in the plants and not because they're just being stressed and herming on their own. You have to affect the plants with some form of silver. There is um, colloidal silver, which was used to be the old standard, and now there is STS, which is a silver thiosulfate. Um, and uh, STS spray is pretty much the, uh, the go-to these days, and the more dependable uh, solution for making feminized pollen and seeds. Um, both these solutions, silver uh, thiosulfate and the colloidal silver, they both act on the female plants and they prevent the plants from producing uh, ethylene, ethylene, yeah, ethylene. And ethylene is what the female plants, plants need to produce to be able to make their buds. So when this stops it from producing ethylene, it makes it where the plants can only make male pollen sacs. And that's what happens. That's how uh, feminized pollen is produced by blocking the ethylene production in plants. So either way, that all being said, I'm going to go ahead and make this uh, silver thiosulfate solution um, so I can start with my next uh, run, which is going to be making feminized seeds and pollen. Um, if you guys want to check those out, go to my playlist, and I'll, I'll have it in there. Uh, a playlist in that, and I'll put this video in that playlist as well as all the other videos that have to do with that. But uh, it's a really simple process making this uh, STS spray. Uh, basically, you're just mixing up some compounds, and these are all the compounds you need right the All the uh, materials you need right now are you need sodium thiosulfate, either an anhydrous is what I got, or pentahydrate, which is uh, the other one starts with a P, I think it was pentahydrate, something like that. That one, you need a little bit higher of, a, of an amount to use with the ratios. Uh, but this one is the one I got, so they both work fine. And you need uh, silver nitrate. So basically you're just taking <clears throat> this ratio, and the ratio that's the standard kind of for making stuff is 500, uh, 500 milliliters of water. And for the silver nitrate, it's... 0.5 grams, so half a gram of silver nitrate. I already weighed it out, so I don't have to sit around on camera doing it, but so half a gram of silver nitrate and like I said, 500 milliliters of uh, distilled water. So I use my RODI water, obviously. But uh, yeah, that's it. This, all you have to do is just mix them together and let them mix. So um, I'm going to let these mix for now. And I'll, I'm going to go ahead and leave them in here mixing their own little vials here. I'm actually happy I get to use my, uh, my little stir plate here, which is something I rarely ever use. It's so clean and untouched. But yeah, I get to use my stir plate for this. I'm going to let these stir up a little more. Uh, I got the 500 ml already cut out over there for the, uh, for the sodium thiosulfate. And so silver nitrate was half a gram to 500 milliliters, and the... Sodium thiosulfate anhydrous is 2.5 grams to 500 milliliters. So these are your stock solutions. Basically the, the uh, silver nitrate solution and the sodium thiosulfate solution. So you keep these separate at all times. You can basically store these for a long time as these stock solutions. And then when you're ready to make your STS spray, you mix them together. And the one thing I didn't mention yet that you will need, well, you don't have to have it, but uh, it helps is a uh, yucca, yucca extract, which is a wetting agent or a, a uh, <sighs> surfactant, that's what they call it. So it's a, it basically makes the stuff where it doesn't beat up and run off. It makes it kind of like stick and, and uh, cover the leaves evenly or cover the plants evenly. So it, it work, makes the, uh, the spray more effective. But anyway, I'll come back when I'm done mixing up these two uh, um, beakers here and I'll make the solution. So, be back in a second. Okay, so preparing these stock solutions was simple enough, all right? And now the next half is 
pretty much just as simple. Basically, I'm going to take uh, this. I've got a 16 ounce bottle here, which is almost 500 milliliters. I'm going to take these two solutions and mix them up inside this and then dilute them. So first, I'm going to take, uh, so like I said, it's almost 500 milliliters. I'm going to take about 23, uh, yeah, 23 um, milliliters of the sodium thiosulfate first. 23. Yeah, close enough. So 23 of the Sodium thiosulfate is going to go in this bottle first. And then I'm going to take the same amount of the silver nitrate solution, 23 milliliters. Okay. Yeah, all right and add it while I'm kind of mixing them together. So I'll start putting it in and mixing them together at the same time, swish them around while I'm mixing it in, and try and get it done here within, you know, 10, 15 seconds. There we go, mixing these up. Like I said, the sodium thiosulfate goes first and then the silver gets added to that. And now I've got these two mixed. And that is about it besides diluting the solution here. So last step, well, obviously not the last step, but the next step is diluting this solution down. If you don't dilute it down, you'll be burning your plants with it. So you got to get it very diluted. Basically this whole mixing process is diluting the base solutions to make the, diluting the, uh, the chemicals themselves to make the base solutions and then diluting the base solutions a lot more to make the actual um, product we're going to be using here. So there we go. Now that it's diluted, the last step is to add a little bit of this yucca surfactant here. Okay, yeah. For a second I thought I overfilled it, but I didn't. So yeah, last step adding the yucca surfactant here. And once I'm done with that, this solution will be ready to go. And basically when you're adding the yucca, you can use it kind of sparingly. It's a, a little bit goes a long ways in this stuff. So there we go, that should be plenty. I'll go ahead and mix it up. And that is the final product right there. STS spray done it is uh, super simple to make. That's 16 ounces right there. As you can see, I used barely any of this. This is 25 grams of silver nitrate. I used half a gram to make all of this. And I used two and a half grams to make all this. And of that 500 milliliters of base solution, I only used 23 milliliters of each of those to make a 16 ounce bottle. So the point is, with this much silver nitrate and this much sodium thiosulfate, you can make gallons of this stuff. So like I said, this is, this is the first 16 ounces and uh, I barely scratched the surface of the first two base solutions I made which barely scratched the surface of the the uh, ingredients. So yeah, a little bit goes a long way with these ingredients. I can make this stuff forever now. They sell this stuff on Amazon. They sell a bottle this size on Amazon. Actually, they sell a bottle half this size on Amazon for 34 bucks. I was looking around at different silver thiosulfate uh, brands that were for sale, but, but yeah, they sell a brand half this size for 34 bucks. And I could probably make a hundred of these for for just my little buy-in here of this, this, and this. So it's uh, it's crazy what people mark you mark you up for when they think you are, I guess, just too lazy to make it yourself or whatever. But either way, that's it. Silver thiosulfate spray. And I'll be taking this into my uh, my feminized seed making run and spraying those when the lights go out tomorrow morning. And 
I'll be flipping those plants in a week from now, but I'll, I'll be spraying them periodically until I have male uh, pollen sacs formed. And that's basically the whole purpose of making this so I can do my whole uh, making feminized pollen and seeds run. So anyway, if you guys watched this far, I appreciate you watching. If you haven't yet, please like, comment, subscribe. And like I said, go check out my playlist, and I'm going to do this whole series. And if you haven't seen my other playlists, i got all kinds of crap I've done. Um, my techniques and my philosophies and and all every grow I've done up to this point. So if you haven't yet, uh, check those out. And I will see you guys on the next video. It will be coming up tomorrow morning. See you then. Peace.